It felt like every week this season, some new wide receiver would step up and have a big day. Not just in the playoffs, but just in general. You know, Marquez Valdez-Scantling in the conference championship game. You had these Canarias Tony games. Uh, you had, you know, plenty of just guys that could come through and step up up, you know, Sky Moore had some big moments in this one, McCall Hardman uh, in this season, but one of the guys who stepped up in the Super Bowl was Juju Smith-Schuster, having a himself uh, an important day in this one. He was definitely a key cog in the Chiefs' offensive machine. Let's talk about what he did so effectively. First, let's start off with this play, which, uh, you know, I gotta say, one of my weirder graphics I've made. It's a cover three zone. Uh, you know, uh, guys are a little bit out of position because they're expecting a running play. The Chiefs are going to run a play action, and the goal is to get the three players who are already close to that side of the field closer in. Get them to move further in, and hopefully you can just get them out of position. That's the plan. Then when Smith-Schuster runs over the middle, you have a player for Philadelphia who can cover him, but the issue is there's not really help over the middle, and this is a good angle to make this play. So this is the Andy Reid of it all, right? Don't just hope that your receivers can go out and win, but put them in favorable positions. Figure out ways to, you know, uh, scheme them open, Not and scheming them open works in two ways, right? There's the, the play where, you know, even a league average or, you know, a replacement level receiver would get open. There's those kind of schemed open type plays, but then there's just, hey, we're going to give you a favorable matchup, but Smith-Schuster still has to go out and win this favorable matchup. Right when this play begins, Mahomes takes the snap, and right here, Smith-Schuster, I think, does the right thing here of just cutting immediately. There's always that thing of, do you want to cut right away, or do you want to kind of sell as though you could do something else and then cut? Smith-Schuster already cutting, and Mahomes is also already in the throwing motion because they know that there's that window over the middle that's been completely cleared out, and the corner was playing a little bit further off. Doing those two things gives Mahomes an easy window to throw to, and was, you know, Smith-Schuster and a relatively easy catch to make. Now, this throw is actually a bit behind Smith-Schuster, but he still makes the catch and falls forward to pick up a first down. That's not an easy play to make. So, again, Smith-Schuster is, you know, he hasn't been a star player since that one year where he was, you know, incredible with the Steelers. Since then, he has mostly been a role player. But you know what? If you're a role player and you play your role well, there's a ton of value in that, and that's kind of what the entire receiving core of the Chiefs you know, is, and then, of course, they have Travis Kelsey, who can, you know, beat a guy who's uncoverable, but sometimes there were just simple plays, plays like this, which is going to be a zone coverage play, and his route is so simple on this one of, you know, just try to find a gap in coverage over the middle. It's simple, it's easy, but sometimes what happens here is people forget about you. There's another receiver on that side of the field, you have a safety who, or excuse me, you have a corner who is over there, and the corners tend to have a little bit of freedom to cover whoever they want, and he's not going to cover Smith-Schuster on this play. Watch as one Smith-Schuster is going to eventually cut over the middle, he is open. He is. I mean, there is a window to hit him, and Mahomes is going, you know, he's looking in that direction. He's able to make this throw. Again, a lot of attention went on other players, and Smith-Schuster is the one who makes the grab, and again, that's just the value of this Chiefs offense, and last year, we're Tyreek Hill, I still think this team would be a lot better if they had Tyreek Hill. Obviously, he still is a great player. But what lose, what getting rid of him did wasn't just necessarily getting rid of him and getting draft capital and getting cap space, but it was more so what they did with that and how they built a team that could have so many different guys that can basically beat any kind of coverage. If you try to cover any one or two specific guys, it doesn't matter. You have to cover them all, and Holmes can see the whole field seemingly, so he's going to know which one is open. And again, there were some plays where he got quote-unquote schemed open, but the thing about schemed open plays that I feel like not, not enough people realize is receivers still have to make the play. That's something that doesn't get talked about a lot, is a lot of times for schemed open plays, it's sometimes receivers who aren't even touching the football, and this time, it's going to be Marquez Valdez-Scantling, who's going to actually make a very key play here, even though he's not going to even touch the football. He didn't have a catch in this one, but he, you know, doesn't mean he didn't have an impactful game, MVS. This one, it's going to be a quarters coverage play that the Eagles are in, and Marquez Valdez-Scantling is going to kind of sell as though he's running a deep route. Eventually, he will cut uh, or, you know, kind of run just sort of a deep curl, but the whole point is to push the corner further deep, which for someone who is explosive like Valdez-Scantling, that can definitely be something where, you know, uh, it can work. 
Uh, you then have Smith Schuster. He's just going to kind of, uh, you know, he's the one who's uh, closer to Mahomes that I've shown his route on the screen. He's the one who's going to eventually uh, run closer towards the sideline. But I love how he runs this route. I love how both of these guys run this route on this one. Watch Smith Schuster really kind of slowly go as though he's going towards the sideline, but then he cuts, turns around the second the Philadelphia defender passes him. The second he passes him, he's turned around and he's basically just sitting in this gap in coverage. He knows where the window is and he's going to stay there. And MVS did a very good job of pushing the safety and corner who are further deep, further deep, and now you have a window to make this throw. It also helps that Kadarius Tony, working underneath, was able to draw attention underneath, and Mahomes did a good job of selling as though he might throw it underneath, which really, you know, all works together to get Juju Smith-Schuster open. Mahomes is able to hit Smith-Schuster. They pick up a decent chunk play there, and that's just a great example of why this Chiefs receiving core works. It's not just one guy. It's everyone does their part. Kadarius Tony only had one catch in this game. MVS only you didn't have a single catch in this game. And Smith Schuster had a bunch. What was he just going off? Well, he had a good day, but it was the entire core of this team that worked together to get these guys yards and kind of it's one of those things where one game Smith Schuster gets rewarded one game Kadarius Tony gets rewarded one game MVS gets rewarded they all get rewarded different days as long as they all keep doing the right thing and being the you know the successful part of this offense and that's the, the sort of the egoless football that this receiving core has and it really works out well for them something like this is another example of using your star player in ways where you're not actually uh expecting them to catch the football this is travis kelsey now who i've circled juju smith schuster he's the one who i've circled in white the guy right next to him is kelsey kelsey gets a lot of attention, and they know this. They're putting him on that side of the field, hoping that he can draw some extra attention. Watch as one Mahomes takes this snap. You see right here, it works out. As traditionally, what you should do is you should have the linebacker run all run over and cover Kelsey, and then you send the defensive back over to cover Smith-Schuster. But, you know, you have three players there. You don't exactly show what you're doing right away. And it's Travis Kelsey. He's going to get extra attention. The gravity kind of works and draws guys closer to him. And Smith-Schuster is able to be open towards the sideline. And again, Mahomes isn't going to miss this. Mahomes makes this throw. And this was on that final drive of the game where the Chiefs would march down the field kick a field goal with eight seconds left and win the Super Bowl. This was a key play because if they don't get this, it's, you know, now it's a third down and long, but being able to get this was definitely an impactful one. So for the Chiefs, it was, again, a lot of guys came through. Mahomes is going to get the most attention. And then, you know, I think Nick Bolton seems to be the other guy getting the most attention from what I've seen. But Smith Schuster definitely had an impact. And it wasn't just him. And it's got, you know, this video, it sort of originated as a let's give Smith Schuster his credit. And I think, you know, he deserves his credit. But it's also, you can't really talk about just one guy in this Chiefs receiving core unless it's, you, you count Travis Kelsey. You can talk about him by himself. But when it comes to the other receivers, you pretty much have no choice but to talk about the whole grouping of receivers because that's how the Chiefs play and that's why the Chiefs are Super Bowl champions is because they went from a team where you know a lot of times for receiving cores it's not about who's your best option it's about who's your third best option or fourth best option and they have like six options who can play even when they you know didn't have everyone fully healthy I mean even Justin Watson you know this uh you know sort of career practice squad guy comes in and has able been able to make big plays for them and that's what makes them successful is the fact that they have so many guys who can come through and Smith Schuster was rewarded in this one and I thought he made some big plays as well again he's not making these oh my god how did he make those that type of route how did he fool that player how did he make that incredible catch because the Chiefs don't ask him to do that they don't ask any receiver to do that except for Travis Kelsey sometimes because why make things more difficult on your own players Andy Reid knows that he used uh, Smith Schuster and his entire receiving core so well and it helped that this receiving core had a good day and especially Smith Schuster that's what I think what do you guys think let me know in the comments below always love hearing from you and of course as always thanks for watching